Hi everyone. Hey everybody. Today is Tuesday trivia. Yeah. We love <laughs> trivia, huh? It's pretty fun. It's pre I see yeah. your dog over there just yeah. roaming around. It's pretty fun. No, trivia is fun. A lot of people have a lot of time, lots of fun doing it. So, oh, oh there he is. Hello. See, I knew he was coming. <laughs> he always wants to be involved. He's coming to help us with the trivia answers. Mm -hmm. All right. So, with the this trivia is based off of Jeopardy categories. So we do have four categories today. I have two to quiz Cynthia in, and she has two to quiz me in. So do you want to go first, or you want me to go first? Oh, you go ahead. All right. So my first category, are you ready? I'm ready. Is foods we wish we could forget. Oh. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. I'm ready. All right. First so question. Hide this. You gotta hide the <laughs> hide the food from the dog. Yeah. yeah. Okay, first question. Molded salads are made with this jiggly ingredient. Molded what? Salads. Molded salads are made with this jiggly. Jello? Yes! Very good. What is jello? We're going to ask it in the form of question. Jiggly salad. <laughs> you know those jello okay, molds. Like jello salad. salad, okay. All right, second question. This brand's box of ingredients is added to hamburger and cooked on the stove. Hamburger helper? Yes. See, oh, you're, hamburger helper. And you're not the cook, remember? But you know hamburger helper? But those are easy because the kids <laughs> used to love that. <laughs> All right. Ready? Okay. Third question. Frozen dinners used to be named for what people would watch while eating them. <gasps> TV dinners. Yes. I remember those people who have their little trays. My grandma, she used to do that. Bring her little tray and some. Her TV dinner? Yeah. And remember, little... like you had to unfold some of the foil off yeah. of some parts. Little sections. But you kept the foil maybe over the dessert. Yeah, my, I ate And you had the kids. little dessert section. My dad ate them all the time. <laughs> like we would go visit my dad for the weekend and we'd have, what TV dinner do you want? And we'd be like, I want the one with the cool dessert. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, that just brought back a lot. Mm -hmm. All right. Next question. This kind of ham comes in a can. Ham and <laughs> ham in a can. Ham in What's a it can. called? Oh God, I don't remember the name, but I do know the ham in a can. I think you like put that key on it yeah, and you move you it all, it or, or, all the way around. It, it What's is. What's it called? Uh, well, the answer is what is deviled? Oh, uh, deviled it ham. It says this Hormel canned. Ooh. Oh, it's, it's the a, oh. devil, the little spread. Is, isn't it gizzards or something like that? The ham? Tomato. Yeah. Okay, it says, I mean, if you like devil ham, okay. But it says, this Hormel canned mystery meat. Ooh. Right there. I'm, mystery I'm, meat. I'm done. I think it's gizzards. I would say it <laughs> contains pork and ham, salt, water. Oh my God, there's a whole list. Salt, water, potato starch, sugar, and sodium nitrate. It's shaped like a brick and can be baked, fried, oh. or eaten out of the can. Okay. Don't Today, it also means unwanted email. So it's spam. Spam? Well, I mean, it says it, its name also means unwanted email. Is that spam? Apparently. Oh, but wow. Hormel meat. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, let's skip that. <laughs> Okay. Move on. Oh, wow. All right. Let's see. She's freaking out about the ham. I am. Wait. Yeah. Okay. What? No. Okay. The kind of can that comes, the ham that comes in a can is deviled ham. Yeah. So what I just described, oh, I gave you the next question. Oh, she's. she's I messed up. Okay, I thought well, that I kept. Okay. So what? <laughs> You already have the answer. What Harmel can mystery meat comes in a can? That was the other, the following question? No, this is the next question. What That's Harmel what I'm meat? Saying. Yeah, so I already gave you Okay, the well then just skip it. Well, it's spam. Okay. So there's deviled ham. And then there's spam. Yeah. Okay. They Sorry. both sound, <laughs> they both sound kind of weird. Okay. Okay. Was that the last one? No. This. Okay. All right, ready? This is the last foods we'd like to forget. This long, green, crunchy vegetable comes in stocks Ooh. and is used to make a snack called ants on a log. Something fell on my head. <laughs> Something, you never ants. know what's gonna happen when we come outside. Oh, ants that fell on a log. Is that like uh, celery with peanut butter and, and, yes. and uh, uh, 
What are the little ants? I was gonna say grapes, but raisins. Raisins, yes. <laughs> well, they are, very good. they are grapes. They're dried. <laughs> You're very good. I'm sorry I messed up that Jeopardy question, but it was the first one was the answer was what is deviled ham, and the next one I sh I described. You forgot your glasses. That's yeah, what I did. I'm sorry. All right, your turn. <laughs> okay. Well, I better take my glasses out because I can't see anything. What I was gonna say oh is when God, we come outside, leave them. Oh, here we they never are. know what's gonna attack us. I know something. Come like at a us. A leaf fell off. Yeah. A tree and <laughs> hit me. Okay, so this one. Oh my God, you're gonna love this one. The love boat. Oh, I love the love boat. I watch okay. it all the time. I hope I know the answers. Okay, it says Gavin McLeods or Mac. I can't even spell his name. It's M A C L E O D S. McLeod. Gavin McLeodos. Roll. Roll is the position on the boat. So what position it's this was this position on the boat? Yeah. Okay, Gavin. Oh my God, why do I think he was the purser? I don't know why I see his name, Gavin, and he was the purser, maybe? I can't maybe? pronounce his last name. Oh, well, what position was he? McLeod's. It's, he was the captain. He was Captain Steubing? He plays Captain Merrill Steubing, yeah. I guess that's his, his last name, his real last name. Oh. I don't know his real name, do you? Yeah, I, I don't know. I just okay. The actor. I know. I know the character names. Yeah. I don't know who the actor. The, okay. What's my next question? Okay, next about? question. Come on, ask me about one of the, the episodes. Ships, oh, you just said purser, right? Yeah. The ship's purser goes okay. by this rodent's nickname. It, it is also the what nickname is of one who runs errands. A gopher. You're going ahead of yourself. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just excited. I know about gopher. Gopher. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm excited. You're right. Yes. Who is Gopher? <laughs> See, on Jeopardy, I would have been. Dee, 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 dee. Gopher. He is played by Fred Grandy, who was a oh. U.S. congressman for the state of Iowa from 1987 to 1995. Did you know that? No. I did not know that. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. Well, good for him. Okay, next question. Okay. This is the ship's cruise director's name, played by Lauren Tews. T E W E. Yes. Okay. No. Is it two or two? Is who is Julie? Julie McCoy. Oh, yes. Julie McCoy. I didn't that know her correct. last name. I just know. I want to. I feel like we are Julie on land, the cruise director. You are correct. Okay. And let's see. Oh, then next one is before his starring role on the Love Boat, Gavin played a writer named Murray Slaughter on this show. Or Murray, M-U-R-R-A-Y. So that's the guy that played Captain Studi. He yeah. played on a different show that he was a writer. Yeah. Okay, I. I okay, I was like seven oh. at the time. I bet he was Perry Mason. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Who was it? I have no a writer on another show. I don't know. What is? What is? The Mary Tyler Moore Show. Remember oh Mary yeah, Moore? so he was he a did. writer. Oh yeah, I remember it, but I yeah okay, I didn't know that. I would not have gotten that at all. Okay, next question. Everyone's favorite bartender. Oh Isaac is portrayed by Ted Lang. That's Isaac. right, Isaac Washington. Yes, Isaac. Lang's okay. Broadway debut was in the musical Hair. Oh my God! I didn't know that. Okay, I, I watched that. He lectures on Shakespeare in high schools and colleges. Oh, so the question was, who was the bartender? Yeah, you oh, said I it got right. it. I read Isaac. Oh, okay. yeah, you got it right. Oh, good. It was just stating some facts. Oh, okay, okay. And last one is. I knew the bartender. I knew that question was gonna come, and I was ready for Isaac. Okay. This actress, singer, and dancer with the signature phrase, "Coochie Coochie," has a recurring oh, role God. on the show. It is um, Cha Cha. Uh, no, wait. What was her? Charo. Charo. Yes. Charo. Yeah, she she was on that show all the time. Yeah. Charo. Charo. Okay, yeah. Charo's Gucci, appearances Gucci. on the series are generally as the character of April Lopez. Oh, April Lopez. Yeah. She was good. I mean, I remember her as a child uh -huh. watching. Oh my God, she's on tonight. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, so my next category for you is life in the 90s. Okay. You ready for the 90s? All right. I'm ready. This 1997 film is a romanticized portrayal of one of the worst. Sea-faring tragedies in history, 
Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio star in the movie. Oh, it's a movie? Oh, the Titanic? Yes. Oh, I yes, love that movie. <laughs> Uh, and you, fun little fact, as of 2020, it is the number three top grossing film of all time. God, I watched that movie so many times. Yeah, it's a long movie. Several times. Remember? I know. Don't let go, Jack. I'll never let go, Jack. And she lets him go. <laughs> and she she lets just him let go. go. <laughs> all right. During the 1990s, major league teams built many of these new structures to hold more spectators. Uh, stadiums? Yes, the answer is stadiums. Okay. Yep, it says baseball once again moved outdoors because fans did not want to sit in a domed building watching the game played on artificial grass. Apparently, that's why they moved to making stadiums. Huh. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. All right, in the 1990s, the price of this liquid was in the dollar a gallon range. In fact, it surprisingly was cheaper at the end of the decade than it was at the beginning. Is it gas? It is. It's like, yeah, this is not how it was let. Yeah. It was a, in the dollar range. Wow. Apparently. Not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Not at all. Uh, it says, what is gas? It started the decade, the 1990s, at $1.34. That's a national wow. average. I mean, uh -huh. not here in yeah. California. And by the end of the decade, it was down to $1.22. Wow. Wow. That's a big difference than today. Mm -hmm. All right, next one. This one. This Toyota sedan, beginning with a C, led all car sales three years in a row and is still in production today. According to Kelly Blue Book, it is the second best mid-sized car today. It's a Toyota car that starts with a a Toyota car that starts with a C? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Hmm. I don't know. What is a Camry? Uh, Toyota Camry. That. I know, you don't really drive much, so. No, I don't drive much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the next one is, by the end of the 90s, many corporations had gone from business attire and casual Friday to this classification of attire. Huh. Like how are you supposed to, yeah, like, like some people would say, wear your Sunday breast, breast, <laughs> wear your Sunday best. Other people okay. would be like, oh, my bad. Other people would be like, or oh, it's a formal event. It's an informal event. Well now, instead of having- Casual wear? Uh, like casual? Well, something casual. You're in an office setting, so wear something casual. It starts with a B. Mm. For a, is it business? Yeah. Okay. Business casual. Business casual. Yeah. So they'll oh say, God. "Oh, you can wear business casual to work." So it says, IBM dropped its suit, shirt, and tie requirement for men. And for the first time, khakis and collared shirts were seen in the halls of corporations. Today, almost anything goes in corporations. That is true. I believe that's true. That mm -hmm. is true. All right, I have one more. Okay. Once PCs, being personal computers, were found in homes across the globe, our attention turned to connecting with others through this media invention. Hmm. How did all the personal computers start talking to each other? How did we all start talking to each internet. other in the net? Yes. Internet. What is the internet yeah. or World Wide World Web? World Wide Web. Yeah. Very nice. Oh my God! I don't know what that was. That was the '90s. Look at all that the '90s brought us: business, casual, the internet. What else did it bring us? The Titanic. It brought us a Camry. There's a lot happening in <laughs> a the lot 90s. of changes. Lots of changes. All right. What's my category? Yours is. Used to be called. Oh God. Okay. Used to be called. Used to be called. Okay. Taking it back. Okay. Colonel Sanders now calls his brand KFC. Kentucky Fried Chicken. What is Kentucky Fried Chicken? That is correct. The company officially shortened the name in 1991. To KFC? KFC, yeah. Ah. 1990. Oh, that happened in the 90s too. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, we used to call it Dunkin' Donuts, but today it is known by this one word. Dunkin'. That's correct. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it says they still sell, sell donuts, but the emphasis now is on drinks and it has streamlined its donut offerings. Yes, yes. Wow. the coffee is really good though. I like their coffee. Okay, Walmart used to be spelled differently before it looked, before it looked this punk punctuation mark out of its name. Walmart used to be spelled well, it goes differently. Wall, period, Mart, right? Before it took so this probably, punctuation mark out of its oh, name. Oh, it took it out. It of took its it out name. of its name. Okay, what is Walmart? But it doesn't have a punctuation. That that uh, dash Walmart, went away. It says Walmart used to be spelled differently before it took this punctuation. What was the punctuation mark that they the took? The dash. It took a dash out. I don't know. It's a hyphen. <coughs> okay, the, okay. What is the hyphen? Uh, the hyphen is the dash. Yeah. Yeah. It's internet traffic soared after the hyphen was removed. Oh. Because people got messed up with the hyphen. I guess. All right. See, sometimes people don't like change. <laughs> I didn't even know it you changed. Might know, it's just a dash. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know it changed. But okay. Okay. These kitchen items used to be called pressure cookers. Today's modern electric version is called this. I, I, oh, okay, I have one. Um, yes, you do. <laughs> but I never use it because I, I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, it's not an air fryer. It's the other one that I have. Um, Instapot. That's correct. Oh, okay. Instapot. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. People who were scared to use pressure cookers that rely on me. these appliances to me. cook in no time flat. I took a cooking class. And they had an air, uh, old-fashioned air pressure cooking, whatever that machine is called. Mm -hmm. And we were about to cook in it. This was before I ever got married. And the woman said, "Now, really, really careful, because if you mess up, like, like if you do something wrong, you could like really injure yourself." She started talking about all these injuries and blowing off your fingers and hands. And, like, and I was like, <gasps> "And I blow up. never." <laughs> and she's like, "It will go all over. You can burn yourself." She talked about all these tragedies. So yeah, it's scary. I. Mm -mm. Never used them. Okay, last question. Okay. Chris Steakhouse used to go by this longer name. Chris Steakhouse. Ruth Chris Steakhouse. That is correct. Oh, Ruth good. Chris Steakhouse. Before the longer name, it was called Chris Steaks, and it was established by a single mother. Oh, wow. I, know I didn't know all that. Hmm. All right. Well, that was Tuesday Trivia. I hope you all did good with all those answers. Some of them were a little tricky for me and you I think but it's always good to remember back get our minds thinking right that's right all right have a good Tuesday